Everything is going to be okay. We'll definitely find Toby. What do you mean, Hope? <laughs> what? Is this his writing too? Reject that hope. Oh, the song again. I, I refuse. I won't accept that hope. Shuichi, what's the matter? It's because of hope that this whole thing is happening. I reject that hope. Using the saw, I think it's really... Hope itself is the villain here. We suffer because of hope. Tsumugi isn't trying to make us despair. She wants us to trust in hope. So I say no, I reject that hope! Tsumugi wants us to trust in hope? What does that mean? The reason this madness has gone on 53 times, it's because of hope. It's because the audience wants hope. They want to see hope defeat despair in the end. It's Hope's Peak Academy all over again. So if we fight for hope, we just be giving them what they want, and the killings will never end. Don't you see? Despair is the only choice. Wow. I mean, he's actually making a fairly decent argument. How about neither? It's because the I swear. Wants hope. They want to see hope defeat despair in the end. It's hope's Just enjoy the nice piano music, everyone. Again. Just enjoy the nice piano so music. We fight for hope. We just be giving them what they want. And the killings will never end. Don't you see? Despair is the only choice. I will cut down your words! Despair takes everything from people, even their strength to press on. That's why it's not possible for despair to be better. The people watching probably feel the same way. They want hope too. What? Even if it's fiction, everyone wants to feel hope. It gives them courage. And this killing game continues because we keep giving them the hope they want. While they ignore all the tragedies that we had to suffer to get there. Shuichi, that's... Then let's start the voting time! What? The final vote! It's all gonna end here! You and your shitty hope! Wait! We're not finished talking! Please, let me just ask one more thing. I have to know something before we vote. What is it? If Hope wins this final vote, Kibo and Maki will sacrifice themselves. And you, Sumugi, the loser, will also be punished, correct? What kind of punishment will they receive? Please, tell me what it is. Why should I tell you? I never said anything about a punishment, did I? That's right! The punishment isn't the problem right Ooh. now. The problem is... I never even thought about... Okay, I just assumed it would be normal execution, just like all the other times. No, that is the problem. Because if the punishment is what I think it is, then... Everything would make sense. Um... Including why Rantaro participated in another killing game. Mm... Yeah, the two people at the end. Rantaro? What does he have to do with this? You know the answer, Kibo. Do I? Me? Uh... If you really are connected to the outside world, then I want you to find the answer. The only thing I can think of is what I was suggesting before about there being a, a reason why people continue in these cycles. Like, it's a game show sort of thing going on. 
The final punishment. If it's uh, the reason Ranto participated in the killing game, again after uh, surviving, is it to participate in another killing game? Hmm. Then the punishment must be... You participate in the next killing game? This is it! I got it. The punishment is you have to participate in the next killing game, right? What? Yeah, I think so. The punishment after the final vote is to participate in another killing game. That's what Rantaro was talking about. Hmm. Something similar must have happened in the last killing game, and he was given a choice. He sacrificed himself and was forced to participate again. All this means is, if we choose hope here, the killing game won't end. Tsumugi will still be the mastermind, Kibo will still represent the viewers, and Maki will be the new ultimate survivor. The killing game will begin again. Don't you see? If Hope wins, the killing won't stop. It's because Hope wins that the killing never stops. Uh, this is... It's what the people want. Interesting, okay. They want Hope to win. They want the happy ending. That's how the killing game has gone on 53 times. The killing game persists because Hope always wins? That's why I'm going to reject that Hope. In its despair, you're going to choose despair to end the killing game. How boring. But this is fine. Our audience loves despair, so this will please them too. After all, even if despair wins, the killing game still won't end. Then, Hope has to win this game too. If we continue to win for hope, then this killing game will surely end someday. No, you don't get it. It's not going to end. It's going to keep happening over and over. Th then what are we supposed to do? When Maki said she was going to sacrifice herself just now, I thought, why? So many of our friends have sacrificed their lives. Why Maki? Why now? Why do we have to go through it again? The sorrow of losing Kaede and Kaito. Why do we have to feel that sadness over and over and over again? Why do we have to bear that burden? Well, I don't care how much the audience wants it. I'm not gonna feel that way anymore. I don't want anyone to feel that way anymore. Damn. Even if this is fiction, even if we're all fictional, the pain in my heart is real. The sadness I feel when I lose the people I love is real. I won't forgive this game that treats us like toys. And if this is what the world wants, then I reject that world. I'll fight the world that inflicts suffering for entertainment. Fight the outside world? Damn. It doesn't matter what you do. No matter what a fictional character does or says, it's just fiction to the outside world. Then I'll fight the outside world from within this fiction. From within this fiction? But how? I refuse to vote. Grain. Refuse to vote? I mean... Monokuma said that if we don't vote, we'll be killed for breaking the rules. Right, but if this ends on such a sour note, come on. No, that's right. I'm just like... Yes, I know. That's why I'm doing it. I, I'm just reading... I, I, some of the time, I, you're reading the uh, little quips here. Forget about it, Shuichi. Show me the despair ending. You're in despair, right? It's okay to feel despair uh, sometimes. 
Uh, why have we been doing this? Oh, a, there's there's a bunch of these. The big reveal. Okay, so I'm, I'm starting to see some. Uh, there's been a lot of those. Just interesting to read as it's going best. It's obviously the audience comments. This ends without a single vote being cast for hope or despair. The audience would hate it. They'd never accept an ending like that. Damn. So I abstain. I refuse to give the outside world the ending at once. I won't vote for Kibo or Tsumugi. I reject both hope and despair. Let's do this, Shuichi. This is exactly what we need to do. Hope won't end the killing game. If that's true, then this feeling that I must win for hope is... Fictional. What am I supposed to do? Hmm. Okay, who am I playing? Am I still a Skibo? I'm still a Skibo, right? Hope. <laughs> I'll put a stop to this killing game. You can't hmm. stop it! If Dongun Rampa ends, I'll be out of a job! Even if this is all fake, our suffering and pain is real. It was rough for me, too. It's a death game. What the fuck you gonna do? Ain't it better to just let it end with despair? I reject both hope and despair. I reject the world that would make us do this. Which is why I abstain from voting. So this won't end in hope or despair. You can't throw away your futures. Hope is contagious. Hmm. Okay. I mustn't give on hope. I know that. But hope continues to demand tragedy from us. What am I supposed to do? I I I I, I, I was thinking from the very beginning that I'm. Ha this is the one I'm gonna have to lie on, isn't it? Hope is contagious. There we go. Hope, but still. It should end. Yes. Oh, that's a good way to do this. Kibo, what are you doing? Rip the thing off the top of your head. Did your inner voice really tell you to do that? Did it tell you to reject hope? No. My inner voice is still telling me not to give up on hope. But if that hope demands tragedy from us, cannot trust it. I may be a robot, but the thought of my friends dying still fills me with sadness. I got 10 bucks riding on hope. Else to feel this way. <laughs> so, I will abandon Oh my hope. goodness. What about Shuichi's fingers? Sorry, sorry. These these audience comments are so interesting. It's distracting me. Do you me. know what will happen if you do that? To defy the audience. I don't give a damn. This killing game is over anyway. New characters are created just to show the outside world a fictional hope. They get written into these killing games, forced to betray one another. And at the end of the slaughter, the tragedy, the despair, hope always wins. Well, I've had enough of it. We're gonna end this right now. We won't let it end the way they want. We won't make a good ending or a bad one. To win this killing game and end it forever. Okay, great. Uh, oh, oh, back back in the driver's seat. We will reject Dongan Ranpa. Shuichi. Tsumugi, you were right. I'm weak. I'm weaker than everyone else. If I didn't have my friends, I'd be useless. That's true even now. If Kibo and Maki didn't stand up, I would have ended it all right then. But it's because I'm weak and because I lost my way that I finally realized I finally realized how cruel this hope really is. Hold on everyone. If we keep thinking, we can find a better ending and Kimiko, Maki, will you abstain from voting with me? Abstain from voting? You can't do that. All three of you will be killed if you do. Do you guys really want to commit suicide? It's still a sin to throw your life away. 
Even if your life is fictional. You've been fighting so hard to survive, but now you're gonna give up? Such foolishness! To cast your life away is the height of stupidity! I... I... Himiko, we can put an end to this insane killing game! We're gonna use our lives to end this madness! Use our lives? That's some purpose. But Himiko, you have to choose, okay? You can't look away. You can't back down. You have to choose. Only those who have found the truth can choose their destiny. Oh, new driver's seat. Okay. Himiko is not protect. Is there? Is there an whole game under there? We can put an end to this killing game. Uh, we can end, put an end. We can put an end to these killing games and everyone out there who wants it so bad. Okay. If so, then then I. Shit, everyone gets to be the tag. Use our lives have been recorded in the amount of band he's in truthful. Okay. Okay. Oh my. If we refuse to vote, we all die. To choose death is to blaspheme against life itself. Hope and despair. So? Neither the victor. No one would want an ending like that. You would throw your life away for that? That would be a meaningless death. No, it wouldn't. Our lives are our strongest weapons. And with these weapons, we revolt against the outside world. Oh, that's... That is a good one. If we don't stop this killing game, these tragedies will just keep happening. We just keep having all the protagonists. Thank you, Angie. Wouldn't want that. If we refuse the outside world... I'm gonna put an end to it. Even if I'm a fictional character, my life is real. That's why killing games are fun, right? It's fun to see two lives clash, right? But I won't let you use my life for some show. I'm gonna use my life to end this killing game. So Tanko, Angie, and all the past victims can rest in peace. I'll use the only weapon I've got. I'll use my life to put an end to this killing game! What? Suicide is suicide, no matter what your reason is. Perhaps that thought is just another work of fiction, following along my outline. It could be a part of my script, just like Maki falling for Kaito, you know? Because if none of you vote, and I do, then I'll be the only one who survives! Doesn't that sound exactly like something the big bad mastermind would come up with? Yeah, but you wouldn't tell us. You wouldn't tell- yeah, you, she really wanted to kill her. You can kill her as we- don't worry, Maki, we can refuse the vote, and you can just go kill her while we're having our fun and dying from other stuff, okay? You can still kill her. It's okay. It's okay, Maki. Believe in me. And believe in yourself, just like you believed in Kaito. Believe in myself? That's why you have to fight, even if you're scared. Because you have that strength. Come on! It'd be a lousy story if the hero gave up so easily. And she's hiding in a hoagie in her somewhere in there, right? Maybe it's on her uh, pubic hair. Okay. Oh, God. My desire to end this killing game. Maybe fictional. Holy shit, it's all so red. Oh, my. And the mastermind is the sole survivor would be a convenient ending for her. Oh, that might be implanted as well, just like my feelings for Kaido. Everything is fiction. A story written by someone. But even then, I... Okay. Use our lives. Even your thoughts are works of fiction. It's all following my outline to a T. This whole shebang is fiction. 
That's Dongon Rampa for ya! Even if it is fiction, it's because of everyone's sacrifices that we've come this far. Their deaths have to be more than just fiction. There must be something we can do. You mean to live your lives for them as well. We're going to use this fiction to change reality. We're going to end Dongon Rampa! I will believe in myself. Even if everything is fictional, I'll believe in my feelings. If I can't believe in my feelings, then my existence will have no meaning. If we can change reality, then we won't be just fiction. Our lives will have significance. And hopefully, my feelings will have significance too. Are you saying that it's okay for everyone to die together? Man, why do you guys want to die so badly? It's not that I want to die. We fought so hard to survive. Of course we don't want to die. But it's not just about us. Everyone who died in the killing games felt the same way. They were all desperate to live. They wanted to survive. For themselves and for someone else. That desire isn't fictional to us. That pain isn't fictional to us. To us, the killing game is real tragedy. That's why we have to stop it. We won't let this happen ever again. Like I told you, it's not going to stop, because that's what the world wants. As long as the world wants killing games, Danganronpa will not end! Then we have to change it. There's no way you can change it. Fiction could never change the real... You don't believe in the power of fiction? Huh? It may not be a physical power, but our wish will surely be received by someone. If fiction has the power to touch people's hearts, then that power can change the world. That is what I believe. I will also abandon my vote, just as Shuichi suggested. Nice. It's decided. We all abstain from voting. We reject hope and despair. We refuse to bow to the demands of the outside world. Are you serious? Are you getting flustered? Your costume changes are less frequent now. Are you crazy? If you do that, only I, the mastermind, will survive, you know? But what about hope? Yes, what about him? What about despair? Do whatever you want with hope and despair. We've already decided to quit this killing game! I don't care about this fictional world. That's right! This class trial is over! Now, start voting time! Voting time? No, not yet! This game is gonna continue! On what premise? The killing game will continue! This class trial will go on forever and ever! Huh. Uh... Continue the game. This game is gonna keep going! And this class trial ain't over yet either! You really want the killing game to end? You really want Rampa to end? Come on, even if we keep going back and forth. Let's keep this game going! I won't let it be voting time yet! No? Okay. <laughs> Not with the boring lies, but you have fun in this game, don't you? I don't care about it, since the game is over! Oh, okay. Hey, why aren't you doing anything? Uh, what? I'm abandoning this game. I won't play your game anymore, Monokuma. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, I wasn't supposed to do anything. Okay. No, I thought I thought I was trying to lie or okay. <laughs> my bad. I fucked up. Okay, my bad. <laughs> now start the vote. Or else. I won't let you abandon this game. I definitely won't let you! Yeah, I still need you guys to keep playing the game! Oh boy, okay, so 30 seconds. Uh... Oh, I can speed it up, that's good. Oh, my bad. Uh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Let's have more fun with the game. Let's have lots and lots of fun with Song on Rock. Oh my. I don't even know what the question is anymore. I mean, I get it now. I get it. I get it. I'm not supposed to do shit. Fine. Be bored. We're not here for your entertainment. Hmm. We're trying to survive. You're the ones who want us to be entertaining. If you're going to complain, perhaps you should just stop watching. Even if we have to make the entire audience hate us, we're not going to stop. We're going to end our tragedy here. Just give up already and start voting time. All four of us will abstain from voting, so you'll be the only one who survives. Are you okay with that, Kibo? Is your inner voice telling you that's okay? Does the outside world really want that? Do they want Danganronpa to end? Hey! What are they saying? What's your inner voice saying? My inner voice doesn't matter anymore. I'm going to end this game with my fr- <gasps> Kiva? You will? <gasps> Crap. Maki, take it off quick! They what? Oh shit. Kibo? Kibo? What's wrong? <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> See? They don't want this kind of ending. They want the killing games to continue! That! Is the outside world's decision! What? Isn't that right, Kibo? Yes. My inner voice will not accept an ending without hope or despair. Kibo! Take the antenna off. Kibo! Get a hold of yourself! That's not possible! The Kibo you see there isn't the one you know. Hmm. But they overrode like him or I something? Said, you can't defy the audience when you're their surrogate. It's because he did such a silly thing that he's feeling the audience's anger now. What do you mean? What's happening to Kibo? 
Since Kibo kept defying the audience, they took a vote and decided... The troublesome personality of his should be erased! What? His personality was erased? Holy shit. How cruel can you guys be? How long are you gonna play with our lives? But that's the decision of the outside world. Don't just end, Duncan Rampa. We supported you. You owe us. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, you what? That's what they said. So it doesn't matter how much you fight. You can't change the outside world. Because the outside world still wants Duncan Rampa. That won't change. What did you say? So do you still want to throw your lives away? Even if it changes nothing? Kibo? Kibo! Get that antenna off of him! Kibo! Quickly! Excuse me. Please use me <laughs> to change. To change the world. Kibo. Kibo, stay with us. He's completely erased. Makes me sad too, you know. He was a character I created. But this is the end. The outside world rejects your decision. So no matter how you use your lives, it won't change anything. Then I'll change it. Kibo gave us this one chance. If Kibo is doing what the outside world is telling him, we just have to convince him. I know we can change the world. We owe it to Kibo to try. Um... That is impossible. For fiction to change the real world... The impossible is possible. All you gotta do is make it so. <gasps> you can even change the world. No, we will change the world. For ourselves and everyone who died. You're going to throw your lives away for those who have died? You fought to survive this killing game. If you die now, it's all over. Even if we die, it's not the end. Our friends who died gave us their love, and we changed because of that. If we can inspire change in others, then that love will live on. That love will tear down the wall between fiction and reality, and it will live on forever. That's why I'm going to change the world. As long as I have their love, I will change it. Even if this whole story is a lie, I will use that lie to change the world. That's right. We're not going to just be fiction. Shuichi. You can change this world, because you're Kaito's sidekick. Screw that, that's not a lie I accept. There's no way <laughs> you can persuade them like that. <laughs> they all love the killing games. They can't get enough, Dungeon Rampa. I'm giving the world what it wants. I won't let hypocrites interfere. Kibo, let me hear the voices of the outside world. And let them hear me.
Okay. Oh my. Oh. This isn't my Don Don Rock. Oh, this. I'm a longtime fan. Do you realize how much I've given to this show? I'm gonna be pissed if there isn't a happy ending. Man, this debate is getting whack. I don't like twists oh, backwards. like this. This is getting way too mad. This isn't my Dungan <laughs> This is the I'm most self-aware fucking ending. Do you realize how much I've given to this show? I'm gonna be pissed if there isn't a happy ending. Man, this debate is getting whack. I don't like twists like this. Uh, shit! This I'm not doing well. This isn't my Dungan Rampa. I'm a longtime fan. Do you realize how much I've given to this show? I'm gonna be pissed if there isn't a happy ending. Man, this debate is getting whack. I don't like twists like this. This is getting way too meta. This isn't my Dongan Ronpa. I'm a longtime fan. Do you realize how much I've given to this show? I'm gonna be pissed if there isn't a happy ending. Oh my goodness, everything Man. feels a little. Why is everything- No way fiction can change the world, lol. Fiction can change the world. Fiction has to- No way fiction can change the world, lol. I'm not here for a damn lecture. Hey, what about Little Miss Assassin's punishment? Preachy characters oh, shit. are so annoying. Man, I was rooting for the detective. This guy should have died instead of Kaede. Death makes the characters better. Death is the point of Dangan Rampa. I'm not here for a damn lecture. Hey, what about Little Miss Assassin's punishment? Preachy characters are so annoying. Man, I was rooting for the detective. This guy should have died instead of Kaede. Death makes the characters better. Death is the point of Dangan Rampa. I'm not here for a damn lecture. Hey, what about Little Miss Assassin's punishment? Preachy characters are ah. so annoying. This is so much more difficult. I don't like this fucking game. This guy should have died instead of Kaede. Death makes the killing games are the best form of entertainment. Killing game is wrong. Let you use our lives for entertainment. Hope versus despair. Big one. Despair. Hope. Despair. Hope. Despair. Hope. Despair. Hope. Despair. Despair. Oh my goodness. Despair. Despair! I, I, I fuck. No, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that was actually really difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm sure I can retry. I'm just, if I can't retry, that would suck. We can't let it. Okay, is it from the beginning again? I am not. I'm not nearly good enough at that mini game. Shit, man. It's from the beginning. This isn't my Dungan Rampa. Despair! Despair! Dis God, for fuck's sake, that is so much more difficult than I want it to be. Oh my goodness. Oh my fucking goodness, I'm not good at that fucking thing! I don't even have the actual... God, that... The thing about that rhythm is game is that it's never really, really felt like much of a rhythm game like it has in the previous one. I've never felt it really went along with a significant rhythm in the first place. Oh my goodness. We can't let it in. Everything's fine. I, I, oh my goodness. Despair! Despair! Hope! 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 Despair! 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 Hope! Shit. I got. I, Okay, I, I did much better when I took off my headphones and I, I was actually listen, able to listen to the audio in real time. I was able to do a lot better. Still need to do it again. Also need to learn how Fever Time even works on this because I, I, I've actually never used Fever Time in this game on the rhythm stuff before. It seems like it just takes away what button you have to press but you still have to get the timing right. And it takes away all the like distraction stuff. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm going to try that again. I got pretty close that time. Well, close-ish. Should be able to do better now. This is a my Dong Dong Rampa. I'm a long time fan. Do you realize how much I've given to this show? I'm gonna be pissed if there isn't a happy ending. Man, this debate is getting whack. I don't like twists like this. This 
This is getting way too meta. This isn't my Dungan Ronpa. I'm a longtime fan. Do you realize how much I've given to the show? I'm gonna be pissed if there isn't a happy ending. Man, this debate is getting wet. I don't like twists like this. No way fiction can change the world. Lol. Fiction has the power to change reality. I'm not here for a damn lecture. Hey, what about Little Miss Assassin's punishment? Preachy characters are so annoying. Man, I was rooting for the detective. This guy should have died instead of Kaede. Death makes the characters better. Death is the point of Danganronpa. I'm not here for a damn lecture. Hey, what about Little Miss Assassin's punishment? Preachy characters are so annoying. Man, I was rooting for the detective. This guy should have died instead of Kaede. Death makes the characters better. Death is the point of Danganronpa. Killing games are the best form of entertainment. I won't let you use our lives for entertainment. Hope versus despair. Hope. One. Despair. Hope. 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 Despair. Despair. Hope. Despair. Hope. Despair. Hope. Despair. Hope. Despair! This ending sucks! Hope! Hope! Despair! Despair! Hope! Hope! Despair! Despair! Hope! Hope! Despair! Despair! Hope! Hope! Despair! Despair! Hope! Hope! Hope versus despair! Pick one! Despair! Hope! 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 Despair! 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 Hope! Despair! Hope! Despair! Hope! A pointless death because no one voted is the worst ending ever! It's not pointless! Ah! We're gonna use our lives to change the world! Is Danganronpa really gonna end? You can't just end it out of the blue Who like cares this? if they die? They're not real! They just kill each other already! Hope! Despair! Hope! Despair! Hope! Despair! Hope! Despair! We want more of the killing game! I need that sweet closure! Well, hopefully there's another season. There's no way they'd let it end like this, I'm a right? longtime fan. Do you realize how much I've given to this show? Death makes the this ending better! This is the point of Dungeon Despair! Death makes the ending better! This is the point of Dungeon Despair! Death makes the ending better! This is the point of Dungeon Despair! Death makes the ending better! This is the point of Dungeon Despair! Death makes the ending better! Is Dungeon Rampa really gonna end? You can't just end it out of the blue like Who cares if they die? They're not real! She doesn't kill each other already! Hope! Despair! Hope! Dungeon Rampa will never end! Will it? Together, we're gonna end Dungeon Rampa! And back to the headphones. Okay. Oh, oh, that got so much easier once I got used to actually doing it without like a two, three seconds of light. <laughs> oh my. What just happened? I don't know. I don't you know. know. If anything, I'm impressed I did as well on the previous ones with that delay. <laughs> oh my. Like I said, it's pointless. The outside world won't let Danganronpa end. Everyone loves Danganronpa. This is so amazing. You know what? The meta fourth wall breaking has gone from like, eh, to like, God. This is so intentional and actually sort of goddamn well done. And so self-aware, and so self-aware of the fandom, and so self-aware of so much aspects of it. It's gotten very good in how it's execution of the idea at this point. That's reality. Killing game entertainment will continue forever. Now then, let's proceed with voting time. <laughs> I think hopeful Kibo should vote for despairing Samugi without a doubt. Because that's what the outside world wants to see. 
Let's give it everything we've got! Presenting one last voting time! So if I vote here... <laughs> I mean, I should wait. What happens if I vote here? I'm voting for Kaede, by the way. <laughs> Wait, so what happens? What happens? I assume it'll push me back to where I I voted. I didn't care who it was. I don't care what... Okay, okay. I guess I was a coward, but Maki and him can feel the same way, it seems. It's really how it ends. <laughs> okay. I just want to see what happens. If there's, like, any specialized stuff for voting for someone completely different. That's fine. No, I'll wait. It's almost like these don't do anything times are, are almost designed for a Let's Player to just like sit back and like, yeah, let's, let's talk about what's happening. So how's your guys' day? How about lasagna anytime recently? I've had a lasagna uh, in my freezer. I, I had that lasagna before. It was quite good. Uh, I talked about it previously in the series. I liked it. It's quite good. I didn't finish all of it. It's actually, I should throw out what remains. That's been weeks. It's been sort of just sitting there. I do have another one in the freezer. But I'm sort of in the mood. Maybe I'll make one today. I've had it, uh, yeah. All right, looks like voting is over. Let's hurry and announce the results. I didn't vote. That was the right thing to do, right? The three of us might be penalized for abstaining to vote. But what's going to happen to Kibo and Sumugi? If Kibo is controlled by the outside world, he must have voted for Sumugi. Then what about Sumugi? If she had cast one vote for Kibo, then it would be a tie, but... Oh, there's no need to worry about that. I didn't vote either. What? Just as I thought. You wanted Hope to win. That's not it. We're friends, aren't we? There's no way I'd abandon you guys. Friends! You've got no right saying that now! <laughs> I turned over a new leaf! I'm not lying, it's the truth! So, since the four of us abstained from voting, only Kibo's vote counts. No matter who he voted for, the only one who survives is Kibo. So, in other words, the winner is Hope. You know, assuming he, uh, voted. But Kibo said earlier that he'd sacrifice himself and take the punishment, right? So we're going to punish him! He'll be participating in the next killing game! Hold it! Why are you punishing Kibo? If Kibo survives, then there's no need for him to be sacri- It doesn't work like that! He needs to follow through on his words! That's not fair! Are you twisting the rules again? It's fine, because this is all fiction. Maybe it's a bit forced, but that's fiction for you, right? Well, since I didn't vote, I'll be killed with you guys. But I'll accept my death. If you guys are willing to die to stop the killing game, I'll die to continue it. Wait. Okay, never mind. Even if it's just fiction, I gave my life to make it. I've given my life to Danganronpa. Uh, uh okay. <laughs> and how about this for the next plotline? Hope has won, but the lone survivor, Kibo, remains trapped. Now he'll challenge the killing game anew! Will he be able to grasp true hope? Yeah! An ending like that can work, right? What? This is the worst possible ending. But this is bad. At this rate, our deaths will be meaningless! Well, we already know the outcome, but we should follow protocol. Monokuma, please tell us the results! Okay, 
then let's begin! Who will be chosen as the Blackened? Who will win? Hope or despair? And... No votes. Dun 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 dun. dun. All rise. Okay. Yeah, I imagine I didn't do really good on that last stuff. Oh boy. That many retries only took away that many. Okay, well, whatever. There's a back route to that one. Was there a back route? I, I don't even fucking know, man. <laughs> I wonder if I should go out there and get this. That might be interesting. What? Whoa. What? All five. Oh, they should have voiced this boom. All five people abstained from voting. What did you say? What's going on? Didn't keep a vote. <laughs> ah, I'm relieved. <laughs> it uh, what? Be. Well, what is it? Okay. What is this? The world has changed. What? Huh? That's true. If Kibo refused the vote, that means the world has changed. It means the audience chose not to vote as well. That's it. They rejected this killing game. What is this? What? <laughs> Serves you right. That's what you get for breaking the rules like that. Why? Hold on. Is that really okay? Tommy Rep is going to end. Killing game full of ten standoffs and backstabbings among friends. Yeah, this does sort of if there's another Dying and Rubber game after this, I will be absolutely shocked, because this feels like it's trying to be a send-off to the series. Stop! It's just going to abruptly end with only 50... only the 53rd season? Is that really okay? But we had marketing planned for all the other ones. Oh no! Uh, what are these sound effects? What? Huh? I am. No. Your words can't reach them anymore. Uh, I don't know what the sound effects are. Oh, 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 it's the things going away in the back. Okay, goodbye, audience. That's it! You never appreciated us. And it looks like you didn't appreciate the power of fiction. No one wants you anymore. No one wants to hear your sick, twisted stories anymore. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's over. This is it. It's finished. And what now? <laughs> is it, it really is the end, isn't it? <laughs> so what are you, uh, we going to do now? Now that's over, there's no need for any punishments, right? No, no. What a half-ass ending. There's no way to. There's no way to end dying in the yeah. robot. No, it needs to end with the punishment at the very least. <laughs> I see. Hey. Now, if we continue to live after this, the choice we made won't really matter. People will just want another killing game. So. That's true. So the only way we can stop this killing game is to kill ourselves. Damn. Got it. So let's let's just get it over with. Uh, it's going to be uh, end with everyone being annihilated. I never expected an ending like that, so I don't have a punishment ready. Yeah. So I'll just leave it to Kibo. Yes. All right. I'll do it. I'll be the one who ends this killing game. I'll bring this fiction to an end. Oh my. It's the will of the outside world. Destroy this entire fictional world and end the killing game. That is what the outside world wants. <laughs> I worked hard to keep this going for 53 seasons, and uh, now it's over. So is this just like an author insert? Is, is that what Samugi is now? Huh. Well, that's fine. If this is a, a world without killing games now... No. I don't want to be a part of it. I have no interest in the world without Dog and Ropa. No! Dog and Ropa author, don't kill yourself! I guess this is it for us. No survivors. That's kind of a bummer. It is sort of a bummer. It's okay. But now, it's all over. We're the last ones to suffer from the killing games. Okay. Come on, everyone. We should be proud. We're going to change the world in the end. Because. It's all just fiction. If this is all just fiction, then everything we've achieved up till now might be a lie. But those lies. They changed the world. Even if we just 
Even if we're just some fictional character someone made them. That's it. We're able to change the world. All right. You're right. I feel the same way. My plan was such a flawless copy. It failed even right at the ends. So I should be able to uh, hold my head up. Cosplay cat criminal. Huh? Hi, is the cosplay cat criminal? A cosplay cr uh, cat criminal. Hmm. Everyone. Very well, let's begin. Or rather, let's end this. This is the will of the outside world. Cosplay cat criminal? Oh, okay. This isn't all that different than what was happening before the trial, is it? Ah, oh. and all it has the characters' names as the quote unquote cast. Ah. Oh. Okay. I liked it. I liked it. The, the more it uh, went on, the more it really grew on me. Some of the things I was iffy about, especially. Oh, okay. <laughs> it has all the previous characters, too. In a sense, yeah, this does feel more like, This feels like a soft reboot that did the ultimate, ultimate Easter egg. And basically took the previous... I, I, if you see this and you're like, oh, now it just takes away all the things from the previous games and stuff like uh, that, it's like, I would say, no. I, I'm approaching this mentally. It's almost like a soft reboot. That did the ultimate Easter egg and used the very premise of the previous games as a way to say, hey, we had these things go on. And just, what if it was a world where these got super, super popular? And got to the point where it was like a literal game show. It's, um, very meta. <laughs> it was meta in a better way than I was expecting, especially when they were introducing that aspect of it. That's for sure. But yeah, I could imagine, I could, I could very easily imagine how people would dislike that. And it's funny because especially during that, um, uh, the argument argument, I think those are called. You could hear the voices and it felt like the exact comments I could imagine people who didn't like that ending, uh, are going to go on about. <laughs> I'm not sure the argument armament were, uh, was going to, uh, convince anyone who's actually playing the game. Ah. Uh. And I think that's certainly something that's fine to be divisive about. It was a very bold choice. It was a very unique choice. It was a very good twist. It, and it was definitely something that you could very much say, Oh, that doesn't really resonate with me. I could very easily see that being an issue. And I think it's perfectly okay if you don't like it. It's not something It's not something that um is a matter of being bad or being good or being anything like that. Because um, I suppose it helps for me. Because like I said, I'm a mentally approaching this in a way where I see this as a reboot that just has this ultimate easter egg to the original series. And I think I said it like episodes and episodes and episodes ago before I even 
start this trial. That if all that stuff was a lie, they better have a damn good reason why it even exists in this. Why we even have that information. And that was a damn good reason. It's a bit... Oh, it doesn't... It's not as satisfying, I'll say that. The ending was not very purely satisfying the same way the other ones were. The other ones were actually were very well designed to be satisfying. That one wasn't supposed to be. It was supposed to commit. Commit to the idea, and it did it extremely well. Even if it wasn't uh, necessarily as satisfying as the uh, previous ones. Dying Europa 2, still my absolute favorite of these. That one was just so good all the way through. Um, it's hard to completely deny the fact that that is by far my favorite. I'd say this one was better than the first game. It was in between, because uh, let's say of uh, the Dying Europa stuff, I'd say uh, another episode, let's say from worst to best, another episode, uh, uh, f uh, the future side of the anime, Dying Europa 1, uh, probably this and the uh, despair side of the anime, probably about the same uh, amount as I, I as much as I like them, because I, I thought that one was great. And then Dying Europa 2. This is definitely up there. I, I thought it was quite good. It's not amazing, I won't claim it's this amazing uh, thing, but I can understand why people dislike it. And I felt it resonated with me a lot more than um, it easily could have. A lot of things could have uh, gone wrong. And if you went into it with certain mental... Oh, using this song. It's just so good. I could easily see someone with the uh, right mentality going into those twists being really disappointed by them. Because ultimately, twists are a matter of trying to set up expectations, and I'm generally pretty open-minded about those. So... 53... That I did not expect. That the V was a Roman numeral. New theme, time for 53. Employee badge. Oh my. I hope they actually have those variety cushion. That seems sort of random. To each their own roulette. Huh. Easter egg! Woo! Okay. You must save the game before you can use clear data bonus. Strongly recommend that you save the game. Sure. Oh, what? Oh, oh, what? What? Uh... Are you okay? Am I? I don't know. Who am I? Yeah, somehow. Oh, they... I was thinking, maybe, possibly at the end where there's rubble, that Kibo just made it, need to made it, uh, needed to make it seem in the uh, to the audience like they died. Not that they actually had to die. I'm sort of stuck here. Someone help me out. Himiko, careful. Yeah, I'm saved. We made it. Hey, how were we saved? Why are we still alive? Uh, yeah, why are we alive? I wonder... The killing game is eternal, that's why. The killing game is over. The last trials are over. And the fictional world is over. So then, where are we? Look at that nice outside... Oh, it's just a crack? Another fictional world after the fiction has ended. What's left for us here? Hmm. Everyone's killing game closing ceremony? Okay, there's more to it, apparently. Okay. Epilogue. We were silent for a long while, staring into the uh, other side. Where we continue to hope. <laughs> they continue to torture us. Outside of world. 53 times hope moved forward. 53 times the suffering continued. And the world on the other side of the fiction, the real world. So, what do we do now? We didn't think of a plan for what to do after. I thought that was the end of us back there. I did too. 
But we survived. Yeah, I mean, I hope the audience isn't aware of that. We better start changing our styles. Oh my goodness. And that's the truth. Three survivors of the kill. That is actually on the low end. Damn. Okay. It seems as though we uh, don't really have a choice. We can't stay here anymore. Hey. Uh, but I don't get it. Seriously, how are we still alive? When this world destroyed itself, I thought we would go down with it. You're right. Kibo probably saved us. Hmm. He made sure we didn't die. Why? But why would he do that? There's no point in us escaping the outside world. We're just fictional characters. Does Kibo save us because he's acting on what the outside world wanted? No. Then maybe this is what the other uh, outside world wanted. Everyone wants to see the people live. No one wants everyone to just die. Yeah, this is exactly... I wanted them to live. Of course I wanted to, uh, them to live. Nah, for us to live. Okay. That's right. In addition to ending all this, the outside world wanted us to live. I suppose the outside world wanted this lie to become the truth. <laughs> so, come on everyone. Let's head outside. With confidence. Remember. The outside world is waiting. To the outside world, huh? I wonder what kind of world it is. A peaceful world with no fighting and no despair. That's what Samugi said, right? You're right. Ah, uh, yeah, if she wasn't lying. Mm -hmm. uh, it might be a lie. Because. Remember the last thing Samugi said? My plan was such a flawless copy, it even failed right at the ends. So I should be able to hold my head up high as a casa like that uh, criminal, right? Hmm, yeah, I'm not sh If I remember correctly. She said copy. That means she must have been copying someone, right? What? How does that mean? <laughs> what indeed? What did you say? Well, you don't know. But... Um, well, I have some theories. Perhaps Home Speak Academy and the Remnants of Despair really exist. Maybe Samugi was just basing her performance on them. Hey! So Samugi lied about the whole world being just fiction. What did you say? What? Huh? A surprise ending. No. No, I don't really know for sure. She might have been lying when she said copy. And she might have been trying to copy something else. She might have been doing a whole sort of stuff. Or maybe they're specifically trying to leave the door open for people to interpret it however they goddamn feel like. Hmm. But if she were telling the truth, then... Well, it would make uh, that that... Uh, it makes sense that that was a lie. What? What do you mean, that? That's... What's the movie showed us? The way we were when we first arrived. Huh? Hmm? Uh, what am I wearing? How nice! Looking good, look more like ultimates. Huh? Ultimates, really? So. Next up, the memory I've been waiting for. You guys are ready? I ready. Once the seal's sealed, we'll be in the domain of the killing game. Killing game. Could it be? We were selected. All yeah, right. we got pigs, really, alright. Yeah, <laughs> well, really, I, I get selected for it, too. But. I don't believe it. I... I can't believe that, uh, any of us would volunteer for this. Mm. We forgot everything about our old selves after that first flashback light, didn't we? If I remember That's what Samui said, but... Something's been bugging me about that. Even if we are obsessed with the killing game, I still can't believe we would, uh, participate in it. I just... I don't believe it. <laughs> ah, but, uh, I don't really have any logic behind that. Uh, one of Kaido's hunches, huh? What's the point? Anyway, there's no way for us to check when we up, uh, apply to the academy, right? Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, geez. Huh? We can't check. Hmm. So in the end, we still don't know what was true or not. But does it really matter anymore? <sighs> the fic uh, this fictional world ends here. And the real world lies out there. Perhaps just behind here is the truth. But maybe it isn't. Don't. Tell me. Maybe it's all still fiction in that world, or maybe Dying and Rupa still continues in that world, or <laughs> <It's> so <laughs> obvious what they're doing here. Nobody fucking knows. It's gonna be whatever you want it to be. Or maybe the outside world is the same as this world. It might be a world filled with lies. Hmm. Well, if we can get out from here, we'll know for sure. But yeah, but I feel like there's not much uh, meaning in truth and lies. Yeah. Yeah. Why you me? Hmm. I mean that, even if something is a lie, even if it's fiction. Remember, if it has the power to change the world, then it must contain some kind of truth.
Aren't we proof of that? In this fictional world, we overcame all these fictional struggles. But those things changed us, and we were able to change the world. So it doesn't really matter where the truth ends and where the lies begin. If lies can change the world just as well as the truth can, then lies are just another way of telling the truth. Some lies can lead the world to hope. Some truths can lead the world to despair. So I don't think anyone can really say which is more right in the end. Hmm. I guess it's not important whether it's a truth or a lie, just what it leads to. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's what I believe at least. We stand with one foot in fiction and one foot in reality. Then we need to see for ourselves whether this fictional world has changed the outside world. And what we can do from this point on. You're right. We can't stay in this fictional world forever. It's already over. We gotta take all the experience we earned in this world and go on to the next. Yeah, let's go. We'll see what this world gained and what it lost and all the rest. Let's find out together. To the other side of this world. To the other side of fiction. Let's find out. Together. That's what we could accomplish. The story lives on. I'm sure even now. Even on the other side, it lives on there as well. And thus, the story lives on. Was this lie able to change something? Was this lie able to change someone? Was this lie able to change the world? It was able to change even the smallest thing. And then the story isn't over. The end. I have no idea where they would go with this if they really decided to do another one. I have no idea. Unless you just threw everything in the kitchen sink out. And that's what they seem like they were doing with this initially. But no, <laughs> they didn't really. Not with how uh, much it ended up affecting it. And influencing it. Hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and see what the... Uh, salmon? What's this now? I mean, at least look at these. It's love across the universe. That sort of reminds me of the minigame. Dying Rapa 2. Hey! Shuichi, are you okay? Hey, Shuichi. Shuichi. That's me. Kaede's calling my name. And where am I? What am I doing here? God. I wonder how much extra content... I remember I was on my way to school, like always. When I suddenly, I was pushed into a car. Before I even figured out what was happening, I lost consciousness. That's right. This is the Ultimate Academy. We, we are 16 high school students with ultimate talents. And then, the mother comes. They ordered us to investigate the grounds. How does this have to do with salmon fishing? <laughs> what? Huh? Okay, so th th I'm guessing this is the, uh... This is probably the... Uh, strength... It did say strength of your bond, so I'm guessing this is where you get to do everyone's uh, bonding events. It's the same typical one, I presume. How's that, oh. Bell? Kaidi, look at the monitor. This actually might reveal a little bit more. Okay. You 
bastards! You have the bastards away, do not. Alright! Everyone make your way to the gym, please. <gasps> the opening ceremony can finally begin. Yeah, we well, finally finished our preparations. Right. You realize that you uh, ready lines backwards, don't so you? Okay, so long, bear well. Okay, great. Great, 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 great. Gym opening ceremony. Uh, Kaede, sh what should we do? Why do we remember each other? Um. What should we do? Go, of course. Everyone else is probably doing the same thing. Uh, okay. True, but I'm a little worried about... Honestly, it was uh, more than a little. Despite my trepidation, we headed towards the gym. <sighs> when we arrived, an eerie sound greeted our ears. It reminded an uh, engine sound from a giant robot anime at right that moment. Exosils, okay. Everyone behind Kyoto, what the heck are these monsters? Wow. Oh, that's so cool. Exodus, yeah. I had no vibe, but the platform's got lots of hometown pride too. Ah, what is that? Better kill them all for those circles and save me for last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run, here we go. I just heard about me all of a sudden. By the way. Huh. Didn't someone say they would kick all their asses? Don't screw around! But, what the hell? Nobody told me about these. I'm sorry. Alright, chill out. No need to panic. We're probably not in any danger. If they wanted to kill us, they'd have done it by now. That's about Franto casually approached the monstrous machine. Man. So, what do you want from us? You clearly want something. That's what the guns are for, right? Let me guess. You're gonna force us to do something, and if we don't, we get her. Hey. Well, we have our attention, so what do you want? And that's that. Yeah, well, aren't you the wise guy? What's that? What's that? What am I gonna do? Ah, my heart's going on my power. You gonna say it? You ready? Oh, yeah, hell, it's a, it's a killing, killing game. game. <laughs> yeah. What? Okay. Ma oh, damn, how dare you upstage me? Huh? Wait a second, what did he say? Huh? Yeah, yeah, this is the same as the first time, right? If I heard the, if I heard him correctly. <laughs> no, that's not happening. Huh? Said, huh? <laughs> My cute little cubs, I'm canceling this killing game. Oh, oh that voice. I'm canceling the killing game. I was wondering how this is gonna go down in order to set up actual, Daddy! like, no killing game situation. Father, is that you? Baba Kuma! Baba Kuma! Daddy, Daddy, where are you? Huh? Daddy? Oh my. Suddenly, spotlight cut through the gym. But he's canceling the killing game, okay. It just doesn't feel like it. So maybe you change your mind. Okay. Another teddy bear appeared. No. Yes, but that is no ordinary teddy bear. I can see it. This bad man is swirling round in this cursed, that cursed hey, thing. Hey. Oh, first of all, I'm not teddy bear. I'm not a kuma. <laughs> Show me some respect. I'm the headmaster for the Ultimate Academy for, uh, for Gifted Juveniles. What? Headmaster. This is. It appears to be some sort of autonomous robot with a built-in AI like me. Dun dun dun. Dun 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 yeah, dun dun. Yeah, it's also different though. The brain is bug. It's a built. Mindless killing machines that can only be controlled by us, the monocams. Sheesh. Some of his robots piloting weapon, uh, weapons platforms. It's only turning into quite the story. No. Well, that may be, but I'm worried about this killing game you mentioned. What exactly does that mean? Yeah? Oh, you don't need to worry about that. I decided to cancel the killing game. Yeah? Cancel? Yeah. The stress of, uh, milking the series finally make you snap, father. <laughs> a little. <laughs> don't worry, Babakuma. I hope you relax. Yeah, I'm making a model team sandbag. I don't like violence occurring, so I don't really mind if it's cancelled. Pops must be lying. You must, uh, must have a glitch. It's bound to happen when you get to be his age. <laughs> no, your father's never had a single glitch. Oh. oh my. Okay. Something's got me. A glitch in my life. You're like a kid covered in frosting who swears he didn't touch that cake. <laughs> Classic buffs, sprouts higher than the Alpha Tower. 
Quiet. Anyway, I've decided to cancel this killing game. And I've never glitched. I'm professional, damn it. Then. So what are we supposed to do then? There's no way you just let us go after all this. <laughs> May I? That is so amusing. Yeah. Just when I said it again. Can I just phoned it in now? I feel awkward. Well, oh, there's only one thing I want you to do in this mode. In this mode, <laughs> I just want you to have fun living in the academy. Huh? Huh? What? Mode. Yeah. Oh, don't worry about it. That's an inside joke. Uh, anyway, as long as you guys have a fun life at the academy, that's all right by me. <laughs> uh, you're at that special age where uh, it doesn't take much to get your hormones raging. Mm. Oh, I don't get the point. This is the, um, this is the X-rated, this is the triple X-rated version of Danganronpa that's being broadcast on special channels. <laughs> Here. Uh, we have all the ingredients for a reality dating show, you see? There's always one show like that on the air at any, uh, any given time, right? Like a, a bunch of guys and gals living under one roof getting in a hot for each other. The audience uh, just eats it up, watching to see who's getting up with who. <laughs> That's what I want for you guys. I want you to start your own reality dating show. Don't screw it screwing around. Why don't we have to do that? Hi, hello. Yeah, kind of stock reactions to be expected. Hey. But if you looked around the academy, then you already know, don't you? This academy's surrounded by a huge wall. You can't escape to the outside world. As long as we have exosols, you can't defy us. So unsure. So do you say if we don't want to die? Okay. Can I fuck you, Monokuma? No, I'm not a furry. You gotta be kidding me! Uh, you gotta be kidding me. Why do we have to do such a thing? You're Quit annoying. shouting. This is way more mild than what I originally had planned for you. Plus, I'm not gonna say you gotta live here forever. Um, Does that mean you'll let us out of here? Hmm? Were you listening? I said this is a reality dating show. And just like those uh, shows promised, the couple who ends up together gets to graduate. Yeah. But I'll yeah. try to be quick about it, okay? Audience gets bored really fast these days. No one ends up together after 10 days. The show will be forced off the air. May I? And what will happen if the show ends? My, my. Maybe that's when he'll make us do the killing game. Yeah. <laughs> Kids these days. Always worrying about the future as if failure is a guarantee. Hmm. Take chances, get messy, make mistakes. Worry about the failure when it happens. Oh, nice. A reality dating show. That sounds so exciting. Well, the humans on the full society trends. Oh, this is such a great capitalist. There's no idea he won't rip uh he won't rip off to uh there's no idea he won't rip off to make profit. And oh, I'm on a dam. I'm sure you'll find your special someone. Oh, by the way, I know you guys just need to have a good time living here. But the romantic sparks won't fly if you guys just do whatever you want. The audience won't know uh, who to watch if all 16 of you are just milling about. That's enough. Hey, what are you talking about? Telling us to fall in love or whatever. What do you want us to do? Sure. Calm down. I'm about to explain. When you want to spend time with another student. Oh, in other words, when you want to go on a date, please exchange a date ticket. What's that? How do you obtain one of these tickets? I never said these tickets were free, did I? Uh, what if something uh, gives it value? In other words, you gotta shell out cash for them. <laughs> you guys have uh, already seen a place on campus where you can earn cash, haven't you? Huh? Earn cash? That's right. I know, and I was talking about the casino. Oh, fuck. Hey. Okay. Spoiler warning. Uh. Oops. Uh oh, man. Uh oh, my getting punched by bumps. Oh my. Quiet. In a democracy, everyone shares the blame. Yeah. No, oh, I feel so bad. It's not my fault. No, it's a dem it's democracy's fault. Okay, apparently. Oh my. Now then, I can't wait to see what kind of hot and heavy hijinks you get into. <laughs> okay. Okay. So instead of doing the mining games, we have the casino instead. I said they're dumbfounded with my uh, that maniacal laughing ring in my ears. Everything here is maniacal and twisted. The school surrounded by a giant wall. Sixteen imprisoned ultimates. The bizarre stuffed animals armed to the teeth. And on top of that, some kind of reality dating show. Without even a moment of respite, we became the cast of this twisted story. I mean, better than the killing game, right? <laughs> Whatever. With my mind still reeling, I struggled desperately to understand what had happened. Yesterday was not a dream. It's real. It's horribly real. Okay. There's no sense of worrying about it. I should get my mind off it. Just focus on what I can do. I made up my mind about it and forced myself to get out of bed. Alright, how should I spend my day today? Woo! Tutorial time? Tutorial time? Maybe tutorial time. Okay, just everyone hanging on and about. Um. Uh... I want to... I'm probably not going to do these at least... It's interesting. Okay, talent plan. Still another one not unlocked. Ultimate talent development plan. 
draw death cards. I would do that first, whatever it is. Oh. So you know what? Another thing we never got answered. Why did it have to... Ow. Shit. Bit myself. Oopsie daisy. Why did it have to end with two people? I sort of get the idea that maybe they'd go along to the next killing game, but... Rontoro wasn't part of that. The two people get to leave? Why two people? Why is that important? For fuck's sake, like, they mention it quite a few times and they never brought it up again. Rise and shine! Rise and shine! Rise and shine! Rise and shine! What's that? Hey! Uh, so look at Philosopher of Hell, da da da, have you really forgotten Montar? I guess it makes sense as the first time I hosted Kiana Miyamoto. Um, it's a guy that makes to go, Scott's talent teenage to be on the host future. That's right. And today's the opening ceremony for Save Classes. Hey. Something such a prestigious academy will make anyone nervous. Uh, real assistance. We can support everyone. <laughs> Business, hormone, teens. That's sex. wonderful. I, uh, I just want to know what this mode is. Help everyone get along. <laughs> I uh, hope crap is boring. What happens to the bad bone monocabs? Huh? What are you saying? Final days are over. Peace is what's trending now. Everyone loves watching teens have a good time, living out the best years of their lives. So, uh, things come full circle. We're gonna milk this trend to a drowning cash. That's right. Yeah, violence and gore. No, okay, it's just too sad. <laughs> now a quiet, peaceful, ordinary school night makes me so excited. <laughs> Nothing about that sounds sad, but I've forgotten why. Hey! Sounds boring. Let's just make Mel and Tam do a bungee jump without a bunch of gore instead. Yeah, that sounds oh. actually sort of cool. He doesn't seem happy about it, though. No, we're gonna treat, uh, go get the new students. Uh, in this mode, you choose any character you like and spend three years at the Academy. Uh, okay. So we're easy, just roll the dice. How your students grow will depend on the square you land on, so watch it. And truancy will not be tolerated if you do not pass a goal within a year. It looks like I can choose any of the characters from any of the games now. You're placed on the despair course for the next year. Okay. I might try this. I, I'm definitely not going to try this today, but don't worry about it. As long as you make the go, you get to pick your course. Uh, choose your course based on how you like to develop your character. So, what talent will they uh, develop over three years is all up to you. Okay. All right. Well then, I'm sure we'll run into each other during time at the Academy. So long, bear. Well, okay. Well, it's always good for a uh, for a mono anything to. Oh, I'll have to like unlock the other ones. Okay. Sports type, intelligence type, variety type, okay. Okay. And was Kibo like, is, was he not a person beforehand? Was, because he was there at the beginning too. There's so many random questions left unanswered, I swear. Ah, it would be nice to know, but I think, I think the entire point was, uh, not to tell us, so. Okay. Um, yeah, I might do like a bonus episode where I at least try out the, see, try to get an ending to the other one. I probably will. Uh, I'm not really, I've never really delved too deeply into uh, completing these bonus modes, so I'm probably not going to dwell on it too long. Maybe an episode. Uh, but I'm not going to do that today because I am, god damn, been recording for five and a half hours. God damn. I have no idea how many episodes this will make. <laughs> Intimacy event. Oh my. So we have all the bond levels. Okay. Uh, PGM. Model model machine. Casino. Is it just gonna load up the casino and I have to get? I know I didn't like the casino that much. Okay, well. Uh, I'm fine with what we have at the moment. Okay, so... I thought that was a very interesting ending. I think I voiced my opinion on it significantly. There's still quite a few questions that really stand to be answered. Uh, if there's a way to unlock this, I guess I'd like to know. Uh, I could just look it up, even. Unlock! Tell me, Internet! How to unlock extra game modes? Uh, Selman Team, Talent Plan, Monokuma's Test. 
Finally, the last game available in Dying Grove V3 is Monokuma's Test. It's the hardest to unlock as it doesn't just happen once you beat the game. It goes hand in hand with the talent plan board game, and therefore is unlocked by playing it. So, unlock Monokuma's Test, you must play through all three years of high skill to any of the 16 characters. Upon completing it, you'll be able to access this dungeon crawler old school RPG. In it, you'll take up four of your preferred classmates across any of the three games directly from the talent plan board game on the RPG. Here, uh, you take on Monokuma's army and 50 floors of increasingly difficult enemies. God, they added a lot of stuff to do afterwards. They just have, like, gameplay designers that are just bored, like, can we make random stuff on the side? And it's like, okay, sure. We only have so many mini-games, right? <laughs> oh, my. I'm probably never gonna be it. I might do the talent, like, one time of the talent plan, and one time of the Selman, and maybe one time of the Monokuma's test, just to see uh, how that goes. Uh, other than that, I think that's where I'm going to end it, unless you're interested in those things, I will... Um... You know, if there's even another Danganronpa. I, I, I... It's hard to say, I don't... I think that's not a horrible place to end it, because it felt like it was very intentionally intending to end it. I don't think it would be a horrible place to never make another one again uh, for. But... Maybe. Maybe not. They have an entire development team based around Team, uh, team Danganronpa. So, I don't know what they're going to do with that team. <laughs> is, is it broken up? <laughs> um, but if uh, if not, I suppose you could... I don't know. I, I like these games. I like the twist. I like it. I, I wouldn't mind something entirely new with the same... Maybe not even the same premise, but the same idea of twist and whatnot from the same writers and whatnot to do something entirely new, maybe completely not that. That would be nice. That would be nice. I, I'm the sort of person that... I don't mind only on that. I, I feel this would be a good place to end it, but I'd like more of this sort of entertainment. Yes, I'm, I'm horrible. I'm horrible. I'm absolutely horrible. I'm one of those audience members that says, I just want more. They can't just end it so abruptly. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> but yeah. If you stuck around this whole time, thanks for uh, coming on this journey with me. Maybe you stuck around for some of the extra stuff I'm probably going to do. And I guess maybe you'll pick up one of the other series I'm playing. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll see you all next time. Whenever that might be, if it ever happens. Thank you all, have a good day, and drive safely everyone. <laughs>